The Linux lockdown, a digital debacle. Facebook labelled Linux a cybersecurity threat. Posts mentioning Linux were blocked. This decision in January 2025 shocked the tech world. Users received warnings. The notion of Linux as a threat seemed absurd. This wasn't just a glitch. Facebook's algorithms flagged Linux as malware. Groups discussing Linux were branded as threats. Facebook, reliant on Linux, labelled it a danger. This move reignited the debate about censorship. Was this an error or a deliberate attempt? The implications were far-reaching. It raised questions about tech giants' power. The Linux ban was a philosophical clash. The outcry against Facebook's decision was swift and fierce. At the heart of the criticism was the blatant hypocrisy of it all. Facebook relies heavily on Linux for its servers. The very platform used by millions to connect and share runs on the operating system it now deemed a threat. This reliance on Linux extends beyond just servers. Facebook actively recruits Linux developers. These skilled engineers are essential for maintaining and expanding Facebook's infrastructure. They ensure the platform remains online and accessible to its billions of users. The attempt to stifle discussion about Linux while simultaneously depending on it painted a picture of corporate double standards. It exposed the inherent tension between Facebook's business interests and its public pronouncements. The open source community, known for its collaborative spirit and commitment to transparency, was quick to point out this contradiction. This blatant hypocrisy fueled the anger and frustration directed at Facebook. It underlined the need for greater scrutiny of the power dynamics between tech giants and the open source community. The incident served as a stark reminder that even in the interconnected digital age, corporate interests often trump principles of openness and collaboration. Facebook's Linux ban had a chilling effect on the open source community. Among the worst hit was DistroWatch, a popular website providing news and information about Linux distributions. They found themselves caught in the crossfire, their voice effectively silenced. Users attempting to share DistroWatch links on Facebook were met with warnings. The platform's algorithm, convinced that anything related to Linux posed a cybersecurity threat, blocked the content. Even DistroWatch's own Facebook account wasn't spared. Appealing the ban proved futile. DistroWatch's account remained restricted, their reach significantly curtailed. This was a significant blow. DistroWatch had long served as a vital hub for the Linux community, a platform for sharing news, reviews and technical information. The silencing of DistroWatch highlighted the collateral damage inflicted by Facebook's actions. It demonstrated the vulnerability of online communities to the whims of tech giants. The incident served as a wake-up call, prompting discussions about alternative platforms and the need for greater decentralization in the online world. Section 4. Double Standards, Meta's Contradictory Narrative In the wake of the backlash, Facebook's parent company, Meta, issued a response. However, their statements only added to the confusion. Initial comments from a Facebook representative confirmed the ban. They stated that Linux-related topics would remain on the cybersecurity threat filter. Days later, a Meta spokesperson offered a contradictory explanation. They claimed the enforcement was an error. They assured the public that discussions about Linux were permitted on the platform. This contradicted their previous statement and the ongoing blockirovka experienced by DistroWatch. This back and forth fueled speculation about Meta's true motives. Was it a genuine mistake, a case of miscommunication between departments, or was it a calculated attempt to control the narrative to appease the public while quietly maintaining the ban? The lack of transparency only heightened the distrust. Meta's contradictory statements did little to quell the controversy. It reinforced the perception that tech giants operate with a degree of impunity, often prioritizing their own interests over the needs and concerns of their users. The incident underscored the urgent need for greater accountability and transparency from these powerful corporations. Section 5 Linux Ascendant, a testament to open source resilience. The Facebook Linux ban, while disconcerting, ultimately proved to be a footnote in the larger story of Linux. 
Despite the attempted suppression, Linux continued its steady march towards mainstream adoption. The controversy inadvertently brought more attention to Linux. By 2025, Linux was nearing a 5% market share on desktops. This growth was fueled by increased awareness of privacy concerns and dissatisfaction with proprietary software. The growing popularity of Linux-based mobile operating systems like Android also played a role. The attempted silencing of Linux on Facebook highlighted the resilience of the open-source community. It demonstrated the power of decentralized networks and the enduring appeal of software freedom. The incident underscored the limitations of corporate attempts to control information. The Facebook Linux ban will be remembered as a cautionary tale and a testament to the enduring spirit of open source.